An unannounced Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset is rumored to power the Galaxy S24 series next year, as per the information shared by Twitter tipster RG Cloud S, who is followed by reliable tipster Ice Universe. The tipster suggests that the X4 high performance core on the upcoming chipset could have a 15% increase in clock speed compared to the X3 core used on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The current version of the chipset powering the Galaxy S23 line features an overclocked X3 core running at 3.36 GHz. Assuming the X4 core on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will have a clock speed of 3.70 GHz, it remains uncertain whether the Galaxy version of the chipset will receive the same 15% increase until official specs are released. If it does, then the X4 core on the Galaxy version of the chip could reach a speed of 3.86 GHz. According to RG Cloud S, the clock speed of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is expected to surpass that of the Apple A17 Bionic SoC, which is set to debut in the upcoming iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Ultra later this year. More importantly, the tipster says that with a 15% hike in the X4 clock speed, there will be a bigger jump in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's performance compared with the improvements seen in the current generation of the chip. He states that Qualcomm will stick with the 1 to 4 3 core configuration found on the current chip. This gives the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, like its predecessor, one high performance core, four performance cores, and three efficiency cores. The first gen Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 featured a 1 to 3 4 configuration with one less performance core and one additional efficiency core. The difference is that the clock speed in the high performance core was increased by 6.6% between the first two generations of the silicon compared to the 15% that we expect to see with the upcoming component. Interestingly, the tipster says that the upcoming chip might be produced using TSMC's 4 nanometer process node instead of moving to 3 nanometer. Apple chip production will reportedly use all of TSMC's 3 nanometer capabilities this year, which means that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 could be produced using the 4 nanometer node unless Qualcomm turns to Samsung Foundry to manufacture the chipset. Qualcomm has switched back and forth before and Sammy's 3 nanometer yields have supposedly improved, so that could be an option. One report last month said that Qualcomm might introduce the new chipset in October. Last year, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 was outed in November. What do you think about today's leak? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.